Yo, what's up, guys? Your boy Navi Drizzle, and today we're gonna take a look at Raid on Onigashima Sanji. Now, Sanji, when he first came out for the four and a half anniversary, he wasn't that good because Gear Five and Kid and Law were units that stacked their defense, and even till this day, you're still gonna have some trouble fighting against Kid and Law and Gear Five because this guy they graded him to be an ignored damage reduction unit. Nowadays, we have the fifth anniversary meta where we have Roger running around and we have Whitebeard. So that it's allowed Sanji to actually be a little bit better in the meta, right? I still think he has plenty of flaws. He should have been better. And it's kind of a constant thing that they've done where the bounty festival that comes out with an extreme unit typically isn't that good, right? Ben Beckman, uh, the new Rayleigh, he's, he's decent, right? But like in my video, like I said, right now, he's not that good. This Sanji's the same way. Back when he first released, he wasn't that good. But now he's had a time to shine because he's actually pretty stacked. It's just that he didn't have enough, in my opinion, or he was too limited in the way that he can stack his stuff. Four times is still too much, in my opinion. Hopefully in the future, this can lower down to at least three or two because then this, it will allow skill one to at the very least give him a three stack or a four stack, depending on how they build it. Right. But also skill one, not applying any sort of a flame. He applies no status effects at all, which is crazy. I mean, he's using fire techniques, but I guess that's not enough to aflame anybody. And he's built well, right? And he's very fun in this current meta because you have Roger, because you have Whitebeard. They're damage reduction units. He ignores damage reduction and he stacks his defense, right? Roger ignores damage reduction, but if you're stacking your defense, he also has the 80% cooldown reduction to status effects, which is really nice. He's built perfectly for right now. Once we get a unit that can put Roger in check and then the older units can finally come back, he might drop a little because again, Kid in Law and Gear 5 are still very big problems for this guy. Well, let's jump right in and let's see what he can do. All right, they have two Rogers on their team. I'm going to head over to B unless Queen is planning on doing that. All right. Ah, oh, that Roger. Hopefully. Okay, cool. Because I see that Roger running on that map and I'm hoping they don't come after me. That's tough. All right. Oh, that's interesting that queen went to a oh, what happened to our white beard nobody's going to d all right i'm gonna head over there just capturing the flag right now hopefully just trying to get it back to three and two right trying to get this my teammates capturing yes sir four and one we're chilling okay now i think i'm gonna guard a little bit right because there's two of us right there down there i guess i'll help yeah, yeah i'll see what i can do that's see that's the thing bro i have no invincibility nothing right yeah resisting stagger is nice but when you have characters that there's a whole bunch of them that ignore damage reduction not damage reduction um they knock back right which is nice okay i got this kill right and that's also it's also a weird thing because when you use that skill you kind of assume you would be able to be a little bit higher than you are and sometimes you get hit, right? It's kind of a weird, like you still have the hitbox you do when you're on the on, on the floor. Does that make sense? Like he jumps up, but it, that's really just for show because he has this, kind of the same hitbox. All right, we got this Zoro, perfect dodge. Oh no, we're chilling. We don't want this Ashura, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're chilling with that. Ah, that's, that's tough. Who, what, what color is he? All right, nah. Yeah, come on, bro, that's so dumb. Which is one of the reasons you kind of want to build them with that HP, right? You want as much HP as possible. That way you can get all your traits activated. Yeah, when he has type advantage, he can heal, which is nice. That's why like, when I fight against this Roger, I heal. Able to get that stack. Thank you to that Gear 5 for the help right there. Let's push for C. Come on, Gear 5. I'm going to try to kill this Zoro. Can you dodge for me? Okay. Boom. Got my boy out the way. Gear 5 did not follow me. Thank you, my boy. Okay, we got the type advantage. Thank you. Gonna get away. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, we got team boost. I'm a little confident right now. I'm gonna go help my teammate. I don't need to push for E. We're four and one. We're chilling right now. Let me get this Roger out the way. Boom, all right, well, we did a lot of damage. Thank you. I'll let this white beard get the kill. Oh, all right, I guess I'll take it, that's fine. I want that white beard to protect B if he can. I'm going to push E just so that when he respawns, he comes to me and he doesn't go to C. White beard. Okay. Come to me, white beard. Perfect dodge into there. Okay. Perfectly fine. 
80% status effect reduction. Team may hold it down, team. Yeah, all right. That's an easy W, right? He's kind of a more tactical attacker. Like, I can't be as aggressive if I was Zoro. If I was Zoro, I would be challenging everybody I see. But you have to wait for your skills to come back sometimes. Because without your skills, if you don't have that defense stack, that's tough, right? You can stack with your normals for sure. But that requires a 1v1. And like I said, you have no damage reduction at the start. And you have no defense stack at the start. So until you get that stack, you're very squishy and you're very easy to kill. But thankfully, we have a meta with Roger and Whitebeard that allows this Sanji to do a lot better. But yeah, guys, that's my boy, Vin Smoke Sanji. I know he doesn't like being called that, but I love that name, bro. I'm not going to lie. That's a dope last name that Oda decided to give him. Let's take a look at the party that I brought. Paramecia, Captain, New World, Worst Generation, Defender, Straw Hat, Attackers, and Runners, Fishman. This Fishman right here, when an area around your enemy's treasure, reduce and knockback. This is nice because, again, you're fighting Roger. Roger's gonna, probably going to capture the treasure before you can kill him. So it will become his treasure area, and you don't want him to knock you back far. That way you can, at the very least, still challenge him immediately, right? Because the skill one, I believe, is the skill one, has knockback. So that's very annoying. That's very nice skill to have. You get it with Jack and my boy Chu. Got him hyper boosted. But yeah, I mean, Sanji's very fun, but you have to play him a little bit differently, right? You have to be a lot more smart. Once you get that defense stack up, he's just as good as any other bounty fest, like top tier bounty fest. You can honestly start challenging. But the thing is, he has no damage reduction, right? He would greatly benefit with damage reduction. If this trait right here was when your HP is 70% or more, resist stagger effect and get 30% damage reduction, which is a trait. I've talked about this in my last video in the past when he first released. Bro, Cracker is older than this guy. Guess what Cracker does, right? He also heals a whole bunch. He has a second life. He has that 80% status effect reduction, right? But guess what he has on this little trait right here? This little, little trait that I'm speaking of. When your HP is 70% or more, resist stagger effect and reduce damage received by 30%. I have no idea why they didn't give it to Sanji. Sanji deserved it. If they gave him 30% damage reduction, you wouldn't need to be like, you wouldn't be as desperate to stack your defense because you would be able to survive, right? And then when you did stack your defense, you would be a whole lot stronger. Yeah, you have characters that ignore damage reduction, but so does he, right? Then you, Because at that time, you had Luffy, who ignores defense. You have Kid in Law, who ignores defense and damage reduction. Kid in Law, still a phenomenal unit. But yeah, like this Sanji, he's pretty good right now. I mean, you probably could run him a different metal set. A skill 2 metal set would probably be better for him because he does kind of rely on his skill 2. And in this current meta, skill 2 is what's giving you that, you know... That good good to kill that roger right you'd be able to do i've done like over 50k sometimes it's just crazy but yeah thank you guys so much for watching that is my boy sanji right now he's very good he's a lot better than when he first released and i'm hoping whatever unit comes to settle and you know counter roger and counter whitebeard doesn't make this guy completely obsolete right because again you do have characters where you have to watch out because they are a lot better than you Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Leave a like and subscribe if you made it this far. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you later.